Well, I'm in South Africa for the week, and instead of just sitting in boring conference meetings, which is what I came here to do, I thought, why don't I make a video for you guys answering a question that I got sometime last year? And that was, Josh, what program is that that you use to do your nice 2D drawings of things? Before we discuss drawing on the computer, we need to talk about two distinct things. See, there's two different ways to draw. You can either draw with a bitmap image or with a vector image. A bitmap image is one where you have a bunch of pixels painted different colors and the resolution is fine enough that you get a nice picture. A vector, on the other hand, is when you actually create a line. This allows you to scale the image to any size you want, whereas a bitmap, you have to have high enough resolution so that when you zoom the image in, you don't get individual pixels showing. Corel Draw, which is the program I use, that's a vector-based program. Whereas something like Adobe Photoshop, that would be a pixel-based bitmap program. The reason I like the Corel product instead of the Adobe product is you can pick one up on eBay for something like 40 bucks, which is a really good bargain. I don't get the newest version. The old versions work just fine. So let me just show you a few of the basic drawing techniques that I use. And if you guys are interested in what I'm doing, just comment down below and I will continue to upload some more tutorials on this. Don't let my computer fool you. Corel Draw is a Windows only program. I'm running Windows on here. That's how I do it. So once you load up the program, you hit this button here to create a new document. You need to do this every time. And you're presented with a page. The nice thing with this page is you can change your units that you're working in between inches, millimeters, uh, at pretty much any units you want, even pixels. And over on the left hand side, you have the drawing tools available to you. So let's just draw a square to begin with. You click the rectangle tool and drag it to whatever size you want. And then up here at the top left hand corner, we can actually adjust our dimensions. So let's make it a square. So let's just do five inches by five inches. And we have a square. You can do lots of different things with this square. You can reposition the sides by just dragging. Uh, you can also uh, grab a corner and scale it. Uh, so let's, uh, let's just undo that. And you can also rotate up here, and, and you can rotate by degrees, so let's rotate by 10 degrees. That's how you create a basic shape. You can do the same with circles, and they have all sorts of different polygons that you can do, and even stars uh, and shapes like that. Now this is just a basic shape, and I want to show you a few other techniques that I can use here. So let's say we want to make this a diamond, so we're rotating by 45 degrees and we have a nice diamond shape. Now, say we want to make it a rectangle. So, what you can do is you can actually go and go to your Arrange menu, and go down here to Convert to Curves. Now, this converts your shape to an actual uh, line that you can edit. So, you create it to Curves, and then over on the left-hand side of your screen, you have the Shape tool. So select your shape tool, and now you can click on the individual corner points. So we can click a point, corner point, drag it all around wherever we want, or we can simply hit the delete key and remove it. So just like that, we have a nice triangle. Now, the other interesting thing with the shape tool is that we can actually create curves on these lines. So you select the line you want, go up to the top bar, you see the top bar has changed with the shape tool. Click the convert line to curve, and you'll see you get these little handles on the ends. You can drag these around to create whatever curve you want. Now, obviously, uh, you do get some, some issues on these uh, ends, so you can do things like up here at the top, you can make the nodes smooth, and, and watch what happens when I click that. So that'll actually create a straight line off of the end of the, the other side of the point. So let's do that to both points. So, and now at this point, we can just drag in and out to create the shape we want. So one technique that is very helpful is using what is known as the shape tool. Uh, I have it over here on the right hand bar already, but to find it, you can go to a uh, window up here at the top and dockers and find the shaping uh, 
doctor right here. And you click that and it'll bring it up over here on the right hand side. So let's say we want to create a shape where there is a, a circle cut out of it, for instance. So uh, for instance, let me uh, create a circle and we will make this three inches by, by three inches. And let us uh, position it over the bottom of our triangular roundy shape. Uh, let's say we want to cut it right out of the, the bottom of that. And so we can go over here to the right hand side and you see that there's things like weld and trim intersect. Those are really the three that you need. Uh, we're going to do trim in this case. And we're going to leave the, the source object as an original and target object we want to modify. Uh, actually, either one will modify, but it just tells you what gets deleted. So click trim uh, with the circle selected, and then click the other shape, and you'll see it has actually cut out the circle from the other shape. Now, if we want to get rid of the circle, we can just delete the circle. The other option here would have been to go and weld it. So weld is where you join the two shapes together. So in this case, we're just going to create a new shape. So we're not going to click any of the boxes. So I'm going to, with the circle selected, I'll hit weld two, and then I'll click the triangular shape, and we get our new whatever shape. Uh, so this is a very powerful tool in that you can create virtually any shape you want from compound shapes. So combining the shaping tool with the uh, shape tool that I showed you previously, you can virtually make anything you want. Now there are options in here to put in text, so let's just write in uh, Josher, and we'll put that right in the middle of the uh, uh, shape we've made. And over on the right hand side you see we have painting options, we can change the color, Etc. So hopefully this has piqued your interest a little bit into CorelDRAW and the capabilities of this program and what you can actually accomplish with it. You can check it out. I'm going to put a link down below to uh, some eBay links or Amazon links that you can use to find uh, this program. So keep checking back. I'm going to be building some stuff soon. I just didn't bring my tools to South Africa and I will talk to you soon. Maybe I will throw in some videos of some animals or something. And that's it.